Hello, how are you doing? I am Laura Cox and I have decided to do a live, or just a video in this case actually, um, a video in which I share a particular hypnosis case with someone thing I've been working on that week, or this week. Partly to promote what I'm doing as a hypnotherapist, but also just to spread the word about hypnosis, which is still massively misunderstood and completely misunder misunderstood, completely underused. And today I want to talk about pain because hypnosis is really great in the treatment of pain. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not a massive fan of pain. Whilst I see that pain serves a really important function, it's there to tell us, isn't it, when something is wrong and we need to get medical assistance. Um, but you can treat pain with hypnosis brilliantly. And there's, there's three general ways of treating pain. You can, you can help the person relax. And when you relax, what happens is the, the person's brush nerves separate, which makes it harder for the neurotransmitters to uh, send messages to you that you're in pain. That's one way. The second way is um, to create distraction. You've probably noticed this, that when you're distracted and you're doing something else, that you just don't notice the pain as much. And the third way is to create an anesthesia. So it's almost like, you know, when you go to the dentist and and uh, you get a jab and it makes you numb and you just don't feel it. And they're all really effective ways of treating pain. And why when you do that? Why would you rather be in pain? Actually, my husband was uh, was in a lot of pain this week. And you might wonder what, what he would do about it, living with a hypnotherapist. And the answer to that is absolutely fuck all. And I had to think about, why is that? Why would you not let me help you? And you, I don't know about you, but you might know the answer to this if, if you've been married for a long time. The answer is, he would rather be in pain with his mouth, agony, than have to listen to my voice for an extra three or four minutes. So well, there you go. But, you know, that's, uh, I am very happily married, by the way, but but he, he never wants me to help him with it. Most of he'd rather be in pain, which I just find weird. Anyway. Back to the subject of pain. So with this particular client that I was working with, they have already been to the doctors. They've already uh, researched, not researched, but they've already investigated, had their, their pain investigated so it was, and had permission from the doctor. And it was safe for the for me to reduce their, either their perception of the pain or just reduce the reduce the actual pain or create relaxation. Um, and, the, and so for the first session that I saw this client, um, that's what we did. We did relaxation. And obviously, the first time that I see a client, sometimes that client has never been in hypnosis before. And that first session takes a little bit of, you know, about setting up their expectations for the actual hypnosis session. But we got the person, well, I got the person to a really lovely deep state of relaxation, in which case, as I said to you, the, the, then the nerves start separating, they start separating or moving further apart. It's a natural process. As you, Again, you've probably noticed that when you're tense, you feel much more pain. You know, when you tense up and you're scared or you're in pain, that's when the pain increases. So in contrast, when you relax and, and the nerves and you allow the brush nerves to separate, that pain, that feeling of pain just reduces and, you, and that's great. And in that state, I'm then able to create suggestions for that person to relax throughout the week. So when they feel themselves creating tension, they've got those suggestions that have been planted in their, un their unconscious mind to, to relax. So that's the first, so that's what we did in the first session. The second session, uh, we did anesthesia. And anesthesia is just so, is simply as it, exactly how it sounds. You know, when you go to the dentist and you have to get an injection and your dentist will give you a jab um, and that numbs that part of the part of the gum and then you don't feel that drilling into your, ah, uh, you don't feel that drilling down into your bone uh, or gum, ah, uh, or whatever it is. Anyway, so yeah. Um, and the way that you do anesthesia is, again, it's obviously through suggestion, but creating a really lovely sensation of numbness in that body and then spreading it throughout the body. So, the, so that person in the future, and the great thing is about this is that person can now do it on themselves. So I've shown them the technique, they've experienced the technique, and now they can do it on themselves. So it's self-hypnosis. So all hypnosis is, becomes ultimately self-hypnosis. Once you've been there, once you've learned how to do it, you then know how to put yourself into that, that better an improved state and then the third week uh we did something a bit more weird and i never do this kind of thing on the first week and it was like a first day don't want to go straight into the weird stuff you know what i mean so it's called parts therapy and the idea about parts therapy and again once you've developed a good rapport with the client and you've done a couple of sessions or you know the first session 
sometimes if that person's completely open or if you're completely open and you're like you've done strange things or things that other people would find strange or you've done meditation or you're just just a little bit rela more relaxed and open then we could do some some people just love weird stuff and you do the weird stuff first um so anyway back to this client so we do parts therapy in the third the third session parts therapy is where i talk to your unconscious mind and your unconscious mind is probably even with the with the pain or anything that has happening that you don't want but it is your unconscious mind is getting something from from that experience or the, or the unconscious mind is trying to serve you in some way by creating the pain so in the case of pain it may be that your unconscious mind is trying to tell you something and it might be you need to change something in your life and this is i've had this, a lot of insomnia when you have insomnia it's some part of you trying to say wake up wake up you need to attend to this I need your attention. You need to change something. So in hypnosis, it's much easier to access that part of you, that unconscious part of you, which is dormant most of most of the day. And that's what we did. So that's what we did. We did first one we did relaxation, second one we did distraction and anesthesia, and third one we did parts therapy. And by the second one, well, all, all of the all of the, each session worked really well. Uh, but by the third session, that client is in a completely different place, and you know, which is remarkable. But most often hypnosis is remarkable and it's only after after you know i don't know how, what it takes of people oh my god my life is completely and radically changed whether it's pain or stop smoking or some crippling life phobia that they've had for years so anyway that's that was pain um i hope you found this useful uh, if you have found this useful in any way please please like this video or make a comment even better if you can make a comment that'd be great if you don't like it then I, then just don't say anything. Don't tell anyone about it. That's fine. Uh, you can just dismiss it and say, pretend you haven't even seen me. I'm just, I'm just some 48 year old me menopausal woman that you can completely ignore. That'd be great. But yeah, if you like it, comment it, please. And uh, maybe even share it or tell someone else. Um, and you can always get in touch with me if any, for any anything for hypnosis um, by just making a comment here or getting me in touch with the details here below and I look so, look forward to seeing you next week when I look at my next case study or do talk about my next case study. See you then. I wanted to do the cool sign off with my clicky button but it hasn't worked. See you then. Try again. See you then.